Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and today I'm just going to be doing um, a haul video of some things that I've picked up over um, just the past couple days, and then these are things that I've had a little bit longer, about two and a half weeks. So uh, Cindy got one bag, and I got two bags, so it came to $15, and I've already sold the matchbooks and kept a few that I wanted for $15. So all of this was free, plus I've done um, the other videos where I shared what I got what I'm so excited about is that there are things that I had never seen at the sale. And this was three weeks of her selling things. And uh, Cindy and I were still able to fill our bags and find amazing things. Things I had wanted from the first day, but didn't want to pay $5 a piece. And then other things that I had just discovered on basically the last day. So first are these very old linens. They definitely had lots of of linens like this um, and trims and baby clothes. So I got these. I don't think I've washed this one yet, but I have washed those two. And I don't know if those would have been cuffs or something for pants, um, embellishments, but obviously I will keep those in, and uh, craft with them. There was this piece that I would assume is some type of bib and then maybe it would have buttoned on. I just couldn't pass that up this beautiful silk, um, we'll just call it like aqua, faded aqua, and it's got a nice little edge to it. Then I had seen this and we couldn't find the Bible, but um, I thought it was pretty cool that it was this Bible and it talked about, um, and I, don't, I can't even read what that first word is, but 1798. A piece of Heise glass. It's got the H on the bottom. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I do like the thicker glass. And I've already cleaned that up a while ago. Then this was exciting. There was this candy box for Christmas with a bow. So um, it has this little missing piece here and actually it's missing more. So I won't be able to repair that because this would be too tight and then I wouldn't be able to put it down. Um, but there are two of them. So I might actually just cut those off because the top is an easy repair. I can just tape that on the inside. It's actually very clean. So that'll be perfect for my collection. And in it are some corsage pins. Those were in a little tomato pin cushion that is over there if I haven't showed it. Some of the things I may have showed, so I apologize. Some vintage tissue Christmas wrapping paper. Never saw that, and then all of a sudden there it was. And not that I need these, but I did pick up two pairs of the little baby shoes. They are great to put a bottle brush tree and some mercury beads in. And there was a note and it said whose shoes they were. Debbie Long shoes. And Cindy saw these as she handed those to me. And two nice sewing kits, always good. My kids, once they know that I like to sew and they see my art at school, then they always want to. Plus it's nice to have some newer thread because some of the older thread that I find just uh, falls apart. One little baby shoe. Picked up some older clothes pins. Those are nice to put in a mason jar and then have a doily on top with some ribbon just as a pretty display. And I got two plate hangers. Thought maybe, you know, they would come in handy if I needed them. And I really liked that it had a price tag on it. And I saw this on the very first day. It had a tissue um, box inside, so one of the long ones. But I just thought that that was nice. I might keep it together or it's great little rosettes and um, lace trim that I, I can use. So things like this I like to pick up and just put in my craft area. Or storage. These items I picked up at my favorite thrift store and I paid I think a little over $20. Um, I was with Laura and uh, Laura, John and I were just having the, the best time together. Um, if we weren't tired I, I think we would have just camped out there overnight and just looked at everything and had a great time. Um, so I got these two brass We'll just call them brass frames and they have the metal backs. I really like them because they make it very easy to frame and I like that they're different sizes and it was funny because when I picked those up John said oh I knew that you'd get them and 
that is a very similar frame that I got there as well. So I was happy to find those two. And then this guy was up high and he was winking right at me. And I said, oh my goodness, is that a Holt Howard with like no paint loss? Yes, it is. And the inside just needs to be cleaned, but that's probably one of the best I've seen on the outside. And then I got this. I had seen this a few times. It has the etching in it, and I have a smaller one, so I decided to get this one today to add to my Halloween bar collection. So that needs to be washed. And then I love these little makeup compacts. I think that one has a great deco look to it, so I'm actually gonna put that out. Um, what is that, princess? Put that out, I don't know, Halloween or just leave it out. So I have this little jewelry casket and you know, I've got that in there. I've got the other one, so maybe that's what I'll just do is add it. Oh, I should take the price tag off, shouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I am not one of those people who likes to keep their price tag on and then reminisce like later down the road, like, oh, look what I got that for. <laughs> Don't want that orange price tag there. Um, pocket knife and it was as is but I will just glue that but it is engraved both sides I think and it's gold and what else what, where do I have oh I've got that one there so maybe I could just like yeah I think I could actually easily attach that so I'm going to glue it and I'm going to put that there and this is one of those times where I wish I had more of these and then it just came to me. So these are some of those jade leaves and um, fruit. And I have just like little groups and groupings of these that I put out for Halloween. And I was putting them on my mantle. And I wished that I had more to like sprinkle them out so I could get them across the whole mantle and make it more unified. Have the one side of the clock, you know, be integrated with the other side of the clock. So it was $4. Now, I think that's a lot for just this little amount. Um, but when I took it down there, John said there was a whole lot more to it. So I don't know if it dropped and broke and then somebody moved it or hit it. So I said, well, I'll take it. Um, and then when you find all the other pieces, just uh, put them under the counter for me. So that was really interesting that I had literally just this past week wanted more and then it came to me. And it was funny too because I said to Laura, $4 for just that little piece. And you can see the one is broken. And I said, they, they don't mark stuff like that, that price. And that's exactly what John said when I took it down. He's like, there's more to that. I don't know where it is though. And then the last thing I got was this. It's funny. I actually see 10 written on it in Sharpie. Um, actually the price tag wasn't even on it so I probably only paid like a, a dollar or two um so I guess someone got it at the goodwill it does say h-e-c-o horn so I thought like that probably was a horn that was on an old um car and when I just looked it up it did say something like model t question mark it says patent applied I think it looks like um it could be a really cool vase especially if you had some type of uh glass that could go in. So sometimes there are those wire holders that you could put vases like this that wouldn't have the base. So if that was smaller and didn't have the base, it could fit in there. So I could actually put flowers or I could put just dried flowers in it. But I think that's going to go on my bar or in the corner cabinet for Halloween. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you like seeing my goodies. Bye. You say bye. Bye.